Afternoon. How are we doing? We're here at the Mere. Syndicate water fish. A lot lately. It's Sunday afternoon. And everybody's just leaving. Which is... I'm happy about that. Been here since Wednesday. Uh, I've landed four. And lost... Got snapped. On some new bait I've been using. Online. I should say. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. Been very busy. A lot of lines in the water, both sides of the bank. Probably oof, 12, 14 carp anglers on here, which is quite a bit for on here. Uh, my mate Lee was here, he'd just gone out. Thanks, Dick, for the transport as normal. Uh, he had one and lost one. Uh, I'm here till next Wednesday, Thursday. Uh, so, quick update, uh, this session, I'm using Pilgrim K2, uh, Corsi Duck Baits on the one, which I've had a fish, uh, Bleeding Pop-Ups, which I've had a fish, and got snapped on a big one, love the Bleeding Pop-Ups. If anybody's after a bulk bait now, get onto Pilgrim Bait, 70 quid, he'll sort you out. 10 kilo bait, which is K2, is awesome. Go anywhere with it, and he'll send you, if you talk to him right, he'll send you a few pots of pop ups, rafters, bleeding pop ups. Uh, he sent me a gallon of glug, which smells awesome. Smells like the old Ambia, and some powder to make you call to look up. He does a lot for 70 quid delivery. Bulk bait, and it's a good bait as well, shelf life. Pilgrim Kato, highly recommend it. On the third rod, uh, I've been not testing, but trialling some from Casual Carpers. He very nicely sent me about a kilo of 14 or 16 mil spice quilt which I find a bit soft for my liking, but nice bait. But he also sent me a tub of pastel wafters, which are awesome, some of the best wafters I've smelt in years, and some pop-ups. Uh, I've had two fish on them, so I've had those. And I speak as I find with bait and testing, and my advice to casual carpers would be maybe Concentrate on your rafters and pop-ups because there might be a, a market there just for pop-ups and rafters. Everybody's doing book baits and deals and it's a big market and it's hard to make any money at it. Maybe if you concentrate, well your pop-up and rafters are awesome. That's just a bit of advice I'll say. And I will be putting an order in boys, probably for more pop-ups and rafters and some dips and stuff. I will be sticking an order in. K2, uh, sorry, the spice quill for me are a bit soft, but I don't know. I don't know how to say to him. I'll speak of the fine. But good, I smell awesome. And also, his packaging is eco friendly bags, which are resealable. Most bait firms who send out the bait, five kilo bags, are not resealable, which is a pain in the ass. I don't put a lot of bait in. I put an handful of bait round, and if I have in it, I'll give him another handful. 10, 20 boilies. Or the bait boat, which is working well. The goer, mini bait boat, working fine. Stick 20 boilies in that. Good. Just waiting on my big lake. Bait boat could to come. Uh, it's been rebuilt and done anytime soon. We'll see how they go on with that. So, yeah, it's been a decent session. Uh, I wanted to get my two Shimano reels. Well, my third Shimano rail was still in Thailand. It was supposed to be come back. But when my mate Mark High went to fetch it, some scumbag had nicked it. Some guy went to look at my tackle to buy it, because I ain't got a lot of men going to fish in Thailand, and he wanted some tackle. He went to look at it and nicked it. So, Shimano wanted 70 quid to, to service my old Shimano's and six weeks to wait. But while I was here, the other week I see my mate Jeff, Hello Jeff, you're coming here Monday I think. 
they, he showed me some nice reels from NGT. Ten bull bearings in them. Big pits. So I had a look on, online. And I seen some. Three for, 70, three for 75 quid. Well, I'll have me some of them. And the arse movers, okay, the NGT. Now, NGT used to be happy shop out of rubbish, but not no more. These are beautiful. Smooth as silk, bait runners. Bait runners is backwards to Shimano, which takes a bit again used to, but smooth as silk. Beautiful. Uh, and for that money, three of them, uh, a Shimano big pitch. I oh know, Baz is and all that big money. But I just needed some new bank runners, really. And so far, so good. The last speakers are fine. I like the NGT kit these days, it's better. The but yet, yeah, NGT, uh, I've got a few things. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty good. Uh, I just did a deal with my mate, Lee. I've swapped him some. Bite alarms, which I ain't no longer using for this. And if anybody's interested, he's selling them for about 70 quid. As you can see, it's a bivy box for charging your phones, your belts, your computers, everything. Uh, I don't know how much power's left in that one because Lee's been here a few days using it. But yeah, uh, if anybody wants them, you, you can add Lee Johnson on Facebook. He's based in Dudley, but he's doing it, setting up, and he's made a good job. All speakers I find themselves so also good. Uh, go have a couple of things, put extras on that one. And you build them to where you want them. Your AC plugs, jack special plugs, or anything. But yeah, uh, you get a lot of power out of them. Uh, so yeah, it's, I don't realise how cold it was, but the guy who was next to just come here broom fishing, he said it was zero on his thermometer in his car last night. I don't feel it. I've only got a sleeping bag I had from a charity shop, of all things. I will be getting a bit of winter stuff as it gets colder. Probably a sleeping bag cover and stuff, but apart from that, that's it. Uh, so yeah. So far, it's been a good session. Uh, anybody else been out on the weekend? I hope you all had a good weekend. And uh, anybody staying out on the bank? Keep warm, wrap up. Keep your fluids in you and you'll be okay. But yeah, life's good. Good to see me mate Lewis at uh, British Carpers. He won the boxing last night. Yeah, watch the video, yep, yeah. he won on points, so good on him. Uh, to everybody else who's out there, all good. Uh, loving life, carping, better than being in the pub. I hope the guys at Lone K had a good weekend Friday night. Uh, I know you had a party on. I can't be in there every weekend, so you guys. Uh, but that's life. So yeah, everything's good here, and uh, yeah, everything's good. Uh, well, I don't know what to say now. Everybody in Thailand, Bangkok hookers, uh, potato hookers, unveiled a big new uh, primer today. I've seen the video there. If anybody's around there, want to get some monsters, go and see Tim. He's, all, he's already reduced his prices by the look of it. I think he's doing it for three and a half K a day, which is awesome. Got some monsters. Three, four hundred pound fish in there. So yeah, you're going to have a good day there if anybody's out there. But yeah, I'll do another one of these at the end of the session, probably. And to keep in touch with everybody. So be safe, doing what you do, and have a good life. Enjoy. Catch you all later.